The booking hall and ticket office. The booking, or waiting hall was of course the hub of the station's comings and goings, with passengers and small goods passing through its doors. As you enter the station, the booking hall is flanked on the right by the museum, and on the left by the ticket office facade. The ticket office still retains some of its original glasswork. Above the door you will notice a number of darker glass panels. This is original blackout, remnants of World War II lighting restrictions. The ticket office was originally much larger, and extended further into the room behind it, that are now the station tea rooms. In its day the booking hall would have been fully open, with benches inset into the wooden panelling. In a few places their mounting positions can still be seen. The hall was illuminated by a large oil lamp that hung from a central point in the ceiling. The routine maintenance of this lamp was part of the early porter's daily duties along with sweeping out the booking hall, dusting the office, and waiting rooms. Above the fireplace you will see a roll of honour. This commemorates the local Midland Railway staff that served in the First World War and was rescued from Ashbidalazush Station. One of these men was Walter Poyser, who worked at the station. This was spotted by his grandson, John, on a recent visit and who kindly sent us a picture of Walter at Ashby.